I'm on a frozen lake in the middle of Sweden to meet a man that I believe to be the world's greatest winter driving instructor. He's won the World Rally Championship, he's a childhood hero of mine, and his friends call him Stig. He's there. The man behind the specs is rallying royalty, legendary Swede Stig Blomqvist. He's a genuine motorsport hero, having sliced through treacherous snow and ice to win no less than seven Swedish rallies. In 1984, he famously won the World Rally Championship in an iconic machine that makes me go weak at the knees, the fire-spitting short wheelbase Audi Quattro S1. This was the first ever four-wheel drive rally car and it changed both Audi and rallying forever. You don't need to speak German to understand what his chief rivals felt. Hey, hey, hey. Today, Stig's at the wheel of the latest car to wear the iconic badge, this 40,000 pound, 252 brake horsepower Audi A1 Quattro. He's going to use this super, super mini to teach me the black art of driving at speed on ice. Instructors don't come any more qualified. So how did you become a rally driver, Stick? Because... Okay, my dad was doing a little bit very locally for fun, and so I was co-driving him, and then when I get my license, I thought I was a better driver than him, so I <laughs> start driving, and he was co-driving me. If you had to give me, like, the golden rules of driving on ice and snow, what would they be? Let the car do the job so you don't fight the car, because then you overcorrect it and you steer too much and then you just get a bit all over the place. So it's yeah, yeah. No, I mean, hardly need to do anything with the steering. That's proper sideways and you're using like a quarter of lock, you know. And also I've noticed you're doing it in quite a high gear. When you have so little grip, it's more relaxed to be on the high yeah. gear. You don't, everything happen much smoother. Yeah, yeah. Oh, big slide, big slide. Yes, yes, yes. It's an honour to see one of my favourite driving heroes at work. We're going quite fast now. In fact, we're going really fast. And I'm learning that making stylish, controlled progress on ice is all about being gentle, making minimal steering inputs and staying in a high gear. Textbook. Textbook. My turn. And if you can remember sitting next to a driving instructor as a teenager, you'll have some idea of how I felt at this point. Oh no, see, that was ludicrous. You start to get it nicely, but then you backed off a bit in the throttle, and then you upset the car, and then you have to start the game. Uh, you're right. I knew, yeah. as soon as I did it, I knew it was the wrong thing to do. Yeah, because know. if you had kept on the power a little bit longer, you have had a Just... perfect corner there. Golden advice. All I had to do to make the most of it was simply stay on the track. Oh no. No, 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 no. That's a spin. Nearly. Should we try that again then, Stig? Yeah. Um, little bit less crashing, I think, probably is the best way. Isn't it? Start to use the throttle a bit more, then you'll feel it much easier. Yeah. I'm just feathering it. Yeah. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Spinning with my hero in the car. Yeah, this was a pretty awkward moment. You don't want to turn, take the corner so we can get a bit stuck here. I feel totally ashamed. World Rally Champions are busy men, and shortly after I crashed Stig into a snowbank, he made his excuses and he left. Funny that. This isn't going to be so much a race against the clock, but a race for survival. But the ultra slippy track will exaggerate the personality of each car. Just give me a wide berth. For 69 pence, it turns your phone into a black box recorder. Once you've mounted your phone on the windscreen, pointing outwards, obviously, 
You then press the big red button there and it senses any high G-forces associated with